Okay, this is a pretty common request in in Rise. How to add images in a table? Apparently, you used to be able to do it. Not anymore. And we have this is we've got a couple pages. Okay, we got forty six replies to this one. Um, uh, especially Amanda, the last one. I'm running into many frustrating situations. Okay. Yeah, it's the same problem over and over. You can go through, and I'm not sure if anyone actually has a solution. But um, I have kind of a little trick that we can do. We're going to kind of manipulate the, um, the editor in Rise. Now, Rise uses a third-party text editor. It's called Froala. Uh, it's kind of like you may have heard of Tiny MCE. That one's a little more uh, popular. I had not heard of Froala, but if you're developing your own software, uh, generally it's kind of silly to develop your own text editor when there's already third-party editors out there like Tiny MCE and this one, Froala. I think the features are pretty similar, but they've already built out the whole thing um but what's kind of unique about rise um the, they like i i think every single block um or most of the block uh their their uh their block w widgets or whatever we call them they make heavy use of the frawala text editor um and so if they could go back in time, they they probably wish they kind of developed their own text editor because a lot of the, the features are kind of locked into place. And they're, uh, if, if it's not part of the Frawala software, their hands might be kind of tied because they could start editing the Frawala uh, functionality, but that takes Rise out of the upgrade path of Froala. Like, let's say next week there's a security patch for Froala, but they've modified the the software. Well, it may be difficult to add that, that security patch in. Um, but anyway, okay, back to our... I think we had a solution here. Images in table. Okay, I'm going to add a new... Uh, can add a new image here, just a simple, maybe this one. Got my VW van there, and I've got a table down here. I'm going to try to put my image in here. So what we can do? Okay, we got the zoom. We're gonna have to take care of that zoom functionality. Um, gonna do a right click, inspect. And I can see my my image right here. What I'm going to do, I'm going to do copy outer HTML. Copy outer HTML. And I'm in Chrome. It's a little different depending on your, uh, your browser. Um, and then I'm going to go back here. Let's see. Where did I put my oop, my DDD? Oh. Okay, here's my DDD. Okay, I had edited this before. <laughs> it's left over from my previous edit. I'm just going to go delete element. Okay. Here's just my regular text. I'm going to do edit as HTML. And I'm clicking on the actual TD table data. Edit as HTML. Now, I had already copied that image tag, if, if you remember. I'm just going to select this text here. Or actually, sorry, you need sometimes you need to go into 
edit as HTML. Otherwise, it's going to screw up the, uh, the text. Okay. And I'm just going to find the right place. I'm going to paste in that code that I had copied. I'm not sure why it puts in the SVG. Mm, weird. Okay. It copied more than I thought it was going to. But anyway, there's there's my image. Okay. So I think it stripped out some of that extra stuff. I don't, I don't know what, what all that was. Um, and now, okay, I'm, I'm just going to close the uh, inspector. And sometimes, but before you do preview, to make sure it locked it in, uh, sometimes you make a, another edit, Oop. Uh, and and then hit preview. Um, and I can even I got image. I can even put more text in there. I'm going to hit preview. Mo this is generally the moment of truth when we see if that change actually got locked in. Okay. So here's my table, got the image, and you'll notice it kept the uh, the image zoom thing. I think that was some of the extra stuff that was getting uh, copied in with the code, the zoom. But the zoom is not going to function. Probably possible to get it to work, but um, I get the icon for the for the zoom. I don't I don't want that. So let's go back to edit. I'll show you how to get rid of that. And now I I can I can get rid of that image okay so I'm in edit mode I'm gonna do right click uh, inspect and, and the very first TD that's my image div class equals image I think div class equals image probably keeps it being responsive so it doesn't break outside of the uh, the parent area I'm not even sure and here, image zoom is one of the classes. I'm just going to get rid of that. And now, if I preview, I don't get that that zoom icon. And I've got my my table here. You barely see it. Table with the um, image and text. Um, and another thing, I had posted this previously. If you don't want those those borders on the table it has just a real real light gray uh, border on the table data what you can do is edit as HTML it's already got a style tag I'm just gonna hook on to that border Four zero picks. I'll just do it white, or I could just keep it one pixel. Otherwise, it may shift things a little bit. So you can see, I just got rid of that that border. You can go ahead and do that on all of them. And when you make new table data and rows, it'll keep that style. So you'll want to do that early on if you want a completely borderless uh, table and table data uh, but that could really be anything you want I could turn it into a five picks red five, solid red if I wanted to Then make a little change and then preview. Looks like we're uh, still working.